Hey everyone, it's Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Today we're gonna do an unboxing video without a box. Yeah, it's gonna be a little different. Um, these are shoes that came from eBay and when I opened the initial outer packaging, there was no shoe box. And so I just pulled them out and we'll go through them together. Uh, this is the Edward Green Dover. Welcome to Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Here we do unboxing videos, we discuss general shoe knowledge, we do worth the price videos as shoe reviews, and we will do shoe battles uh, comparing shoe to shoe so that you can understand the differences. I also speak to experts in the field. So these shoes came in the uh, mail today. This is a pair that I've been looking for for a long time. Uh, really a grail shoe of mine, and I happened to find them on eBay uh, with about, they said less than 10 wares. See, there's a little bit of sole wear there, but not very much. Um, but there is definitely some. I would say that 10 wares is probably about right. Um, a little bit of creasing on the vamp, but not very much. Uh, no foot imprint on the, um, on the insole either. I thought was a pretty good sign. So let's see if we you can see there's very little of an imprint there. So again, very happy with them. Uh, this is an Edward Green Dover. Okay, um, I saved over a thousand dollars off of retail, which I thought was pretty good. Um, it's always hard to tell. With used shoes, you never know what you're going to get. Um, so I got them in today. They still smell strongly of Lysol. Um, and, um, you know, I just uh, ran some polish over them. Nothing. Uh, I used the uh, Pure Polish Water Resistant Cream. This is Utah Calf. And so I uh, um, was able to uh, get it into the gro grooves there. And what I did was I used a boar hair brush to really brush it in. I put a couple coats on, and then I put um, some some wax on the toes, some some uh, uh, another darker color of water resistant cream, and then uh, some high shine wax on top of that. So I have not uh, done any uh, quote unquote spit polish or anything like that. Just uh, get letting them soak it in. I'll let it dry overnight and uh, give these their maiden voyage tomorrow. But the Edward Green Dover is the grail of Edward Green for me. And uh, never never buy used shoes, but uh, um, occasionally if I can find a pair that uh, I found a pair of Aldens that had been worn, looked like only on carpet, tried on kind of thing. And uh, these are very similar, in, in very similar shape. And uh, the opportunity to test them and, and, and wear them and, and just try them out was just too great, um, you know, for, for the deal I was able to get. So very happy with them. Uh, it's an eBay score for me. And uh, we'll let you know what I think down the road. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a quick look through the uh, pairs of shoes that uh, just arrived today and uh, just do a quick look at them and uh, uh, just, uh, just initial observations. Um, so the first one are, is this, um, this is a uh, Edward Green Dover. Um, this is a, a, a used shoe, which I don't usually do. I found this on the bay. And um, you can see that there's a very, very slight amount of sole wear. Um, and I've worn them now for a couple of hours. So um, most of the creasing is from my foot, but that is something that is different as well. Um, I also did put a, a coat of polish on this as I was cleaning them as well. Um, so, um, but this is a, a Utah calf. It's on the 202 last. Um, as I look at the details here, the, um, the soles, and I'll include some pictures of the soles, um, are very, very clean. Um, and just as you'd expect, right? I mean, and this is Edward Green. It should be the best there is. Um, the uh, fudging on the outside of the sole is, is good. The stitch density, everything like that looks pretty good. Um, you know, as I as I look at them, uh, the comfort is good. Um, I'll include some pictures of me wearing them. Uh, the fit on my feet is phenomenal. Um, so, and I took these in the same size as my um, loafers, which were too big. 
and and these fit just fine. Um, Silly, right?